What up you lab rats? This is episode number 36 and today is Good Shit Friday. Stay tuned. Hello my friends and welcome to the Lab Rat Daily Show, the in-between show of me and Kevin on Wednesdays. So uh, like I said before, every day has a theme. Today on Friday is Good Shit Friday, keeping that going strong since last year, kind of. <laughs> uh, on Good Shit Friday, I share good news, accolades, results, um, things that we are promoting, uh, th- stuff like that. All right. So in today's show, we're going to go over some promo stuff that I'm doing for New Media Expo because I'm going to be going there. Uh, That's from April 12th to the 16th in Las Vegas. If you can make it, that's cool. Um, What else are we going to go through? Um, The charity campaign that Kevin and I are running right now. And uh, also the power of personal branding. All right. So today on Good Shit Friday, I want to start off with saying that uh, I'm in a really good place, and that is because, one, I just got back from the gym, okay, and I'm, I'm trying to decide, like, whether I want to look at the camera or not, because the last couple episodes, it was kind of just like you guys peeking in on me as I was doing the podcast and looking like I'm talking like a crazy person. Um, <laughs> the only reason why I can get away with that is because there's a big ass mic in front of my face. So, um, what do you guys like? I'd like to hear your comments. Do you like it looking at the camera, some eye contact or a second camera or just kind of talking and, and doing about that kind of thing? I don't know. Uh, lo- love to hear your thoughts and feedbacks on the uh, format of the show. Okay. So like I said, I'm in a good place cause I got back from the gym Kevin and I went together finally. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, but uh, I'm actually, I'm in a good place. Like, yes, I went to the gym. I feel productive, but I'm actually really tired because uh, yesterday I did a really intense push day. Um, but uh, what was really cool is that I increased my deadlift by 10 pounds. So that's awesome. But then I started to feel a little bit of snap city in my back. So I stopped that. Um, but otherwise really good day at the gym. I am slowly increasing in strength and rehabilitating my back. So that's very, very cool. All right. I'm going to just, I'm just going to not look at you and then I'm just going to be like a normal conversation. Right. Okay. So, um, if you're watching, (laughs) uh, I just, well, I'm almost finished with this book called tax free retirement, right. By Patrick Kelly. And it's, it's a really good book. It's a really good book. Um, it kind of teases you for like nine chapters about uh, why you should um, be doing this other thing while you're getting screwed over by the government doing all this other crap that everybody else does. And I'm going to get into um, the big kind of, you know, right hook that this book does to you um, on Sunday, on Cozy Sunday, because that's what I reserve for kind of... Uh, you know, sharing with you the findings that, that, uh, I get from reading books over here on my end. So that'll be really fun. Uh, but otherwise I want to give you kind of like a sneak peek basically. And he's basically laying out, um, kind of the pitfalls that we fall into as Americans, because for one, we don't save and we're stuck in a government governmental system that is run by debt, which means an increase increase in uh, taxes for our future. Okay, so he's laying out all these kinds of landmines, as he calls them, and uh, at the very end, he provides a solution. And uh, on Sunday, I'm going to share with you guys that solution. And the reason why I'm not, um, I'm just teasing you with it because I'm not, I'm not completely done with the book either. All right, so I'm going to finish it. I'm going to make sure I have a f- like a a very good understanding of what he's talking about, and then I'm going to share it with you guys, okay? So, all right, let's get into some, into some uh, good shit, good news, okay? It's Friday for one thing, right? Um, I'm going to be at New Media Expo. That's a blogger event uh, s- kind of situated towards any content creator, right? I first went there last year with Kevin and it was really fun, really nerve wracking because I'm, I wasn't yet this person who you see in here on the mic. 
I was still very shy and I didn't know how to do anything really. Um, but I had a friend at the time, his name is Greg Hickman, and he was also coaching me at the time. So he was kind of being like my mentor. And so he said, you know, come to New Media Expo. Uh, it'll be good for you. You can kind of hang out with all of my peeps. I'll introduce you. I'll make some intros. And at that time, I was slowly starting to podcast and interview people and still very, very timid and new to the blogosphere. And then uh, since Kevin came with me, for one thing, I felt more comfortable and safe being out in big bad Los, An uh, Los Angeles, Las Vegas. Um, I'm not really a Vegas person, so I have no interest in doing all that stuff. But uh, it just felt good to kind of have him with me. And at the same time, while he was with me, he also learned about my world, our niche of podcasting and creating content. And I think that was really powerful for us, for one thing, because I was struggling to kind of get him to understand and support what I was doing. And it, it's amazing because sometimes you can't reach people trying to tell them and explain to them what, what you're doing and what your vision is and what your dream is because for one thing, you're not sure <laughs> and it's all kind of based on theory because I, I had no proof to show him like, this is cool, this is good, it's good to podcast. I didn't have any proof of that. So it was great that he came with me because there were thousands of people who had proof that podcasting and creating content the way that we do uh, like creating content with heart was something that was really, really good uh, for business. And so, um, namely, when we went to sneak in to Pat Flynn's talk about how to be, uh, what was his talk on? How to turn, how to turn your audience into raving fans or something like that? Something like that. Like how to really uh, capture your audience. And we snuck in in the back and we were just kind of like listening. <laughs> and we could see Pat like this big. Uh, throwing around this uh, bouncy ball thingy and um, for me I already knew this kind of talk because I've been following his blog and I already knew what he was about so I was like cool it's just cool to see him in person but Kevin was um, really influenced he really uh, took that speech to heart and he said wow this there's a lot of uh, power here with what you guys are doing and, and he could finally see what I was talking about in theory and he could see proof um, so that was a really kind of big step for us as a entrepreneurial couple because now we could kind of be on the same page right so let's get into some of the good news that's just a little backstory but I'm going to be there again this time without Kevin and while I'm there, I'm going to be unconferencing. So that means I'm not actually going to go to like any of the speaker events or anything like that. I didn't pay, pay for that ticket. Um, I got the free ticket. I don't think it's free anymore, though. So that kind of sucks. Um, I, I get to go to all the booths and, and do that kind of exhibit hall thing. But for the most part, I'm going to be networking and trying to uh, make some build and uh, some relationships out there. Because a lot of people that I've built relationships over the past year are going to be there. So I think that's going to be really interesting. And I'm going to bring my camera. That means I'm going to be doing headshots. All right. So I'm doing kind of a special promo for people uh, who, you know, the Lab Rat Fam Bam, who, who need some clean headshots. And I'm going to be doing them for 50 bucks for a 30 minute session. That's more than enough time for me to uh, churn out a lot of awesome photos for you and your brand. That way you can use them in any way that you like and plus you'll have clean headshots for this upcoming year and this upcoming year is all about great photography custom photography that you can use and tweak in your websites and your promos and your ads and all that stuff so whether it's me or somebody else uh, i would recommend that you clean up your photography uh, that it looks good and that you can you know you can really utilize it across all the social platforms with with facebook changing the way that it is, um, it's it's going to really kind of test us as content creators and how we get our our stuff out there. And the personal image, the branding, is still very important. Okay, so uh, yeah, fifty bucks. I'm gonna put that link in the show notes so you can kind of pre-order. This is a special kind of thing. On you know, if you meet me there at NMX, I'm not gonna be offering. Uh, this price uh, at that time because 
you know, this is kind of a special promo, okay, for the people that listen to the Lab Rat Daily Show and, and get in the lab right now. Good things on that one. All right. All right. Next item on the list. Well, I'm really excited about this one. Super, super excited. So Kevin and I are getting married, right? If you didn't already know, uh, later on in December this year. And so I was really inspired by this book to start contributing some of my income to charity. And therein lied the kind of like question, well, who do I donate to, right? And so I started to ask her on Facebook and I got some stuff and nothing really hit me until I thought about charity water because all life starts with water. You know, it's like this basic necessary element that we all need as humans. And I'm very much on this thing where there's, uh, you know, I, I really don't want to segregate the fact that you know, even though there's all this kind of like the Grammys was all about race, it seemed right. It just seemed all like super gospel and like, you know, emotionally, um, how do you say, like uh, civil rights kind of thing, kind of movement in there. It was it was a very different sort of Grammy, it's still the Grammys, but it was different. Right. And so I could see that kind of thing. Um, kind of coming to the surface that there's still this issue of race and the only race there is really is the human race okay so the, you know like black Asian um, you know Latino all this kind of crap it's really those are just labels we're all humans <laughs> underneath it all so I started to think kind of from that perspective like I'm a human and I want to help other humans you know so um I thought of charity water and water, every human needs water. And so, uh, you know, I was, I was looking at the, um, at the website and they were saying that, you know, some people have to travel like miles to get to a water source. And then when they get there, it's like contaminated or full of crap. And, and then they get, you know, cholera or, you know, all these kind of waterborne illnesses that lead to death. And the fact that you just have to travel so far to get water, like, that's ridiculous, right? We're, we're really spoiled over here in America. And so I thought about that, and that kind of really touched me. And so I created a campaign in the name of our wedding, <laughs> a very nice excuse to kind of campaign and raise money for people who really need water. And I want to continue this after this campaign is done and to do regular campaigns, you know, with the help of you guys so that we can actually do something with this brand, with this show. You know, it, it's it's one thing to make a buck here and there on, you know, maybe you, you hire us as wedding photographers or whatever. Um, but it's another thing to use the power of social media, marketing, personal branding, and telling stories to actually make a difference in somebody else's life that way. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. I can't even kind of put it into words. And uh, thinking about it, I'm kind of like, not in a weird place, but I'm, I don't have the regular gusto. One, because I'm tired. But another thing, I'm just kind of, I'm still kind of shocked that, uh, it's not that I wasn't aware of this, but, uh, you know, every time I think about it now, it's just even, it hits me even more, right? So I think that's a really good cause, and we can come together as the Lab Rat fam and pull together whatever we can to contribute to this campaign, you know, in the name of helping people who really need it. Like, they really need it. Like, <laughs> there's just so much that I think that we take for granted. And, you know, getting a bottle of water, just, I just have to walk downstairs and hit that tap that I installed. And I, I have clean water. You know, and it's like reverse osmosis water, like, because I'm so, you know, about my water. And these people have to get this muddy ass, dirty ass water filled with contaminants and disease. And they have to deal with that. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't think that's right. Um, while I drink this reverse osmosis water. So I want to do everything in my power uh, that I can to help, you know. And this is a small, very small step that I could take. Um, and I realized that too, but at the same time, it's a step. Like I could have chose not to take that step, but I took that step. So, uh, I want you guys to take that step with me. And if, if you can, whatever you can, you know, um, help, 
uh, fund this campaign and we have till June to reach our goal. And so far, you guys, um, I think we have like $167 raised already. Like that's, that's really cool. Like three people can get water already just from that. And that was just from two days of telling people. So we have till June to make that happen. And uh, I really think we can do it. All right. So um, another thing um, before I guys, before I let you guys go, um, that's it. You know, that's the power of personal branding. That is a very, I didn't think about it before, but you know, as you start to create content and build your personal brand, because everybody has a personal brand, right? Um, and you can tell the story and you can get people involved and you can move people to act, um, you know, besides selling stuff, you can inspire and you can change the world with your personal brand. And however much of a scale that is, you know, 66 people, if we get this thing funded to $2,000 is a small thing, maybe in some people's minds, but we can really make a difference in the world. And that is the power of personal branding. All right. So I think it's pretty amazing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you in advance and thank you to those who have um, participated so far and donated. I'm, I'm very moved, very touched by that. So I can only imagine, uh, you know, moving forward what it's going to take. All right. So um, with that, I think we'll we'll leave the show at that. And I think it's going to be a pretty good week. Look forward to tomorrow. Uh, I've christened that as the weekend warrior where I'm going to go over some, you know, tutorials, reviews or visuals. I haven't decided yet. So stay tuned for that. And then on Sunday, I'll be updating you guys. Uh, I'll be giving you the lowdown on this book, Tax Free Retirement, which should be really fun. All right. So good things. I'm going to let you go now and uh, have a great rest of the weekend. We'll see you. Peace. Thank you.